can Zion still win the rookie of the year at this point? I think he has a chance. I think he has a chance, and I'm shocked that I'm having to say that, but I definitely think that he has a chance. Here is the reason <coughs> why. It's the combination of these two things. Number one, he's already been sensational. He's averaging 21 and 7. Uh, we see them climbing the charts. But here's where it gets very, very interesting. Max, they've won three straight and six of their last eight. They're 23 and 31. They're four and a half games back of the eighth seed. And who's the eighth seed? The Memphis, Memphis Grizzlies. Who's leading them? Ja Morant. And so we've been looking at Ja Morant and the way that he's been balling, and it's been a foregone conclusion because Zion has been out. The way that, that Ja Morant has been balling, that he inevitably will win Rookie of the Year. But a funny thing happened. Just last week or a few days ago, if I recall correctly, Me uh, New Orleans handled Memphis considerably easily. And so when you look at it from that perspective, as they continue to climb the charts, if they ultimately end up capturing that eighth seed because Zion is playing lights out, it would have to be to some degree at the expense of Memphis, who's holding the eighth seed as we speak, which means that somewhere along the way, if Ja Morant falls off and Memphis as a result follows suit and they fall off and New Orleans elevates, captures the eighth seed with Zion playing the way that he plays, who the hell you think is going to vote against him? They're not going to vote against him for Rookie of the Year. So the key here in all of this for this particular segment is to send a message to Ja Morant. And this is a beautiful message because we're not being negative about either of them. Both of them are sensational. I've been incredibly impressed by what I've seen from both of them, and I'm proud of both of them. But for the purposes of just competitive fervor in basketball, SOS to Ja Morant. Zion Williamson is coming. So is New Orleans. What you going to do about it? Because you got the eighth seed. You understand? You got a pretty damn good team. I like what I'm seeing from Memphis. What are you guys going to do? And in particular, John ja Morant, what are you going to do? Because Zion Williamson and the Pelicans are coming. They look like they can make a run. And it's going to take Memphis being able to hold them off. And Memphis can't do that without John ja Morant balling. Well, listen. Who, am I one to say I told you so? Well, yes, I am. As a matter of fact. <laughs> told you before he turned pro, Ja Morant was a surefire NBA superstar. I thought that there was Zion and Ja and then everyone else. Ja has proven me right about that and has proven many others right about that. Well, everybody um, said that. He is, I believe you were arguing he's not a surefire superstar, Stephen A. But we can go back and look. Who? 17. Se if, if, if the tape says I'm wrong, I will stand corrected. We can get the tapes. Yeah, that's it. No, no. 30. We, <laughs> no, I'm we saying, had a, what did I say? I'm, I'm you asking you what did I say. You said he's not a surefire superstar. You can't say that based Zion? on what you saw in college. No, Ja. Z ja? ja? Yes, Oh, ja. I thought I said, okay. Yes. okay. Well, you man, might be listen. right. You might be right. You might be right. Or, or you may be. We can check. Right. The point right. is that I know what I said. No, no, the point is that he don't have to do a damn thing other than he's been doing Ja Morant. He's averaging 17 and 7. You could talk about hit a rookie wall except... He's doing it in under 30 minutes a game. He's doing it in under 30 minutes a game. Ja Morant is this close already to being an elite point guard. Elite. This man was compared to Russell Westbrook coming out because of his aggression, but I never saw just a pure Westbrook comparison. I know what they meant about the aggression, but he also had, like, the patience and rhythm of, like, D'Angelo Russell. Who? Ru Westbrook meets D'Angelo Russell. Two opposite kind of players. And somehow this guy is that rolled into one. John Morant is special. Now, is Zion Williamson even better? Yeah. He's, Zion Williamson is a physical freak. He was a man among boys in college. And in the NBA, he's a monster among men. Right? When you drop... 31 and 28 minutes as a rookie in your ninth game. Is there a higher league than the NBA that, that, that Zion Williamson can, that someone can challenge this dude? It's ridiculous. But Stephen A, people get suckered by the All Star break like it's the midway point. Only 30 games left. There's not enough season left for Zion. If he were twice as good as John Morant, okay. But he's not. He's better. He There's no such thing as twice as good as John Morant. He's not going to catch him. There's just not enough time. Too much of the season went by. Well, listen, what I'm saying to you, Max, is this. Here's where I think you're wrong. It is enough season if they catch Memphis. Because what I'm trying to say to you is this. If John Morant was in the Eastern Conference, right,
then that's a different ball game. He ain't catching John ja Morant. Here's the problem. They're both in the same conference, and they're both battling for the same thing. So if Zion and the Pelicans elevate themselves and they catch Memphis and knock Memphis out of the picture, they're four and a half games back. They were more than that, you know, uh, you know a game about two or three games ago. Yeah. If they end up catching <laughs> Memphis, and for some reason, ja, and I don't believe this will happen, but if John ja Morant falls off and Memphis falls off as a result and Zion continues to ascend and the Pelicans ascend with him, remember, J.J. Reddick shooting 43%, 46% from three-point range. You know, you got cats like Brandon Ingram. He's an all-star, averaging 25 a game. You got Drew Holiday doing what he did the other day. He made Damian Lillard look human. Damian Lillard only had about 20, 21 points, for crying out loud. You still got Josh Harden and, 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 and you know, all of these boys here. All I'm saying, Lonzo, Lonzo Ball and them. I'm saying to you, if the Pelicans continue to ascend with Zion I and hear you. Memphis descends, no, then that's I hear a different you. ball I hear you. That will make it's a different that ball will make That will put Zion number two in the rookie of the year. But John Morant, who's shooting right. 50% from the field and 38% from three, who, when you talk about yeah. true shooting percentage, Stephen A, 538 had this. And you look at the number of guys with his usage rate who are that efficient offensively, it's guys like the Greek freak. They're like six, seven other – Luka, six, seven mm -hmm. other players in the league that are doing what Ja's doing, and a handful of them are MVP candidates. So I hear yeah, what but, you're but saying. But and if Ja Morant was, was not as good as he is, you'd be right. Zion could catch a lesser cat. But this ain't right. no lesser cat. Mm -hmm. He's real. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.